Tagoy. My name is Darius and today I'm going to be doing a video on uh, about my for my GoFundMe account. Um, <clears throat> so uh, today's topics we're going to be talking about my devotion to philanthropy and helping people. Um, you know when I was growing up uh, you know I always um, I did a lot of work helping people um, specifically working with uh, a lot of homeless people more recently I did uh, a lot of volunteer work you know what I would do is uh, I would take and go buy like bottle cases of bottled water and bags of chips and, and I would go to the park and I would you know give out bags of chips and bottled water to the homeless people in the park um, and then, uh, yeah, you know, I've, uh, I've volunteered in soup kitchens while I was growing up. Um, you know, just to give you a little bit of background of why um, I, I did these things specifically. Uh, when I was growing up, my mom was homeless um, when she was 16 years old. And she made her way from Las Vegas to East Palo Alto after being abandoned by her mother. Um, her mom had brain damage uh, because she had got beaten in the head by one of her boyfriends and so she really didn't have the right mindset and she abandoned my mom in Las Vegas at 16 years old. Uh, my mom made it from Las Vegas all the way to East Palo Alto in California and she lived in abandoned houses, abandoned drug houses and she survived without ever having to do any drugs because she was Christian and she was always devoted to her faith and, and, and Jesus Christ. Uh, personally, I also am a Christian. I am devoted to my faith. Um, one thing that I learned while studying the Bible is that Jesus did a lot of uh, helping people and you know, he always gave his time to make other people's lives better who were, who were people who were sick. He healed people who were sick. Um, you know, and they gave food to people and you know just all about helping people that was literally the story of Jesus was making other people's lives better <clears throat> um, so um, uh, about uh, so in 2018 um, I was actually homeless myself uh, for about one month um, you know I used to um, you know my mind wasn't really in the right place you know a couple years you know, I struggled, you know, I used to do like, I used to smoke and drink and stuff like that. And, you know, I've always lived with my parents up, up until the age when I was 30. And then when I turned 30, you know, um, pretty much my parents decided to give me the boot. <laughs> you know, they said, you like, you got to figure it out, man. You got to figure it out. You got to figure life out. Uh, I've always had jobs and went to school and stuff like that. But, you know, so yeah, in 2018, I was homeless for about one month. And in from December of 2019 to February, uh, February 10th of 2020, I was also homeless again. Um, this time, uh, I did this, like pretty much I was sleeping in my car. Um, I did this because I, you know, I, I met a girl uh, about seven months ago when I went to Panama. I took a trip, you know, I used to be an Uber driver. And I took a trip. Uh, to Panama because I had met somebody on one of my Instagram pages and you know I, I actually ended up never meeting that girl who uh, or meeting the lady who I originally came here for but when I was down here I met my current girlfriend um, and so yeah I've been supporting her for the last seven months you know I have been sending her money to help her and just trying to you know survive and make it and I when I met her um, I, she, like I said, she was working at nightclubs, and I, I feel like, uh, you know, like I said, <laughs> I, I'm a Christian dude, and when I met her, I felt like this was an opportunity for me to, you know, use my faith to make somebody else's life better. I mean, this is what I desire. Uh, actually, that's what I prayed for. I asked God to send me a woman who I could help make her life better, and when I met her, like I said, she, you know, to go for the story six months after, now she is in college, um, you know, sadly, you know, the whole CO, the COV ID, COV ID, and teen coronavirus is, got all the school shut down here in Panama, that's where I am right now. Um, but, you 
you know, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, then that's just pretty much what, like, you know, where things are. Now she's going to college and she's not working at the nightclubs anymore. Um, I'm actually here living in Panama. Uh, we're not living together. She has her own place. I have my place, but, you know, I'm pretty much supporting her. <laughs> so, yeah, I, we need help. <laughs> we need help. Um, but, yeah, um, so I, another topic is I have a dream of becoming a motivational speaker. Uh, that's actually why I, create, I created this GoFundMe account, my great GoFundMe account. Uh, another one of the reasons, uh, you know, I need support in, you know, in, in doing these things, you know, like it costs a lot of money to just survive. And being an American, I'm not legally allowed to work here. So currently I am technically unemployed, but I own a business. Uh, my business is, has, isn't bringing in any funds yet, but hopefully through this video I can start generating some funds, um, maybe through donations. But yeah, I had a dream of becoming a motivational speaker. Um, I took many leadership classes growing up, and I was placed in many different leadership programs. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, my whole life I've done the, uh, I've worked with, I've been in the NAACP, uh, I've been with the, uh, you know, all, all the uh, African American uh, programs at the schools that I went to in high school. I was in the, uh, the African American program there, and then that when I went to college, same thing. Um, yeah, I, but so yeah, I mean, I, uh, I I worked at a car wash for three years and drove Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Eats for three years. You know, I've done all these different things, all these different jobs, and you know, during and I understand what it's like to work a job, but to have a desire to do amazing things with your life, you know. Uh, I remember during working at the car wash, like, you know, I just, I knew that I could do more, you know, like, I was thankful for the opportunity, like, you know, I've always wanted to do service, my whole life I've done pretty much service jobs, you know, I did sales there, but I was also, mainly we were doing customer service, um, and, you know, I've always appreciated helping make people's lives better, so, you know, that's just one of the great things for me that I appreciated, um, but I went to junior college for four and a half years, graduated with an AA in liberal arts, with an emphasis in business and computer information systems. Um, it, you know, like, and then after that, I went to a bachelor's program for business psychology for two years. Um, you know, all this, you know, this is all during the time when I was working, you know, doing, uh, like, you know, before I started doing Uber and DoorDash and the, uh, and the Postmates and the Grub, uh, pretty much all the, uh, independent contractor work uh, but while I was working at the car wash pretty much the entire time I was there I was going to school as well uh, I was doing I did partial part of the time there I was doing my bachelor's program at Paul Alto University and then part of the time uh, I was going to De Anza College that was the first one which is a junior college in Cupertino um, just you know all because I had a dream that I could do more with my life and I could do amazing things. Like my goal, I, what I would like to do is be able to travel the world and help other people, help make other people's lives better through, you know, donations, through philanthropy, you know, all of that. Uh, I, like, I just understand how difficult it is to be an entrepreneur. I mean, I've opened three businesses already. My first business was a social network marketing and advertising company. We work for the night in the nightclub industry, you know, pretty much marketing and advertising nightclubs. I realized that that's not what I want to do with my life, so I closed that business down and then I opened a nonprofit organization. And, you know, the nonprofit, I was supporting it by myself. That's why I was going out and doing the donations, uh, you know, donating my own money. And, you know, I've, I've donated thousands of dollars to, like, you know, to churches and, and uh, you know, I've donated my own money and, you know, to bottle water and buy, buy the chips and apples and stuff like that, gone out to the parks and fed the homeless people in the parks. I was living in the, Bay, in the Bay Area, home of like you know all the great companies, Google, Apple. Um, I mean, of course, Uber and Lyft and DoorDash all originated in the local Bay Area. Um, but yeah, um, and my current goals while I'm here in Panama, um, I created a clothing line called Gorilla Nature Inc. Um, you know, this is uh, you know uh, that that is a company. 
Like, you know, pretty much I, I look at gorillas. Uh, that's where I got the idea from Gorilla Nature Inc. I look at the nature of the gorilla. You know, they're very strong and passionate creatures. Um, you know, they're, they're independent. Um, you know, they have so many good characteristics about them. They're loyal to their family. They're family-oriented creatures. Um, you know, they're vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> you know, they, they eat healthy food. They live strong, moral lives, man. You know, a gorilla is an amazing creature. <laughs> like, you know, and it's just like, I, when I was started thinking about it, like, you know, what is my next idea? What is my next thing I'm going to pursue? And that was it, you know, create Gorilla Nature Inc. Um, so, yeah, I, I wrote a book called Relentless Determination was on about healthy the Amazon Kindle version. I won't have a paperback. I just wrote, you know, the Amazon Kindle version. So that should be released. If you can, please go and support, you know, whatever support you can. If you can donate to the GoFundMe, I appreciate you so much. If you can buy my book or if you can go online and purchase one of our shirts, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, you can please, if you can, check out our Gorilla Nature Inc. Instagram page to promote, I uh, created the page to promote health and fitness and living life to the best of your abilities. Um, you know, health and fitness is so important in this current day and time. Um, right now, I, all the gyms are closed and I, as like, you know, pretty much everything is closed. You know, they got the quarantine because of the, uh, coronavirus going on, but you know, like, but, you know, even during this time, you still need to eat healthy food. You know, like I said, I'm vegetarian. I don't need meat. I gave it up. I wanted to live a healthier lifestyle. I had, in my head, I had a dream of what type of life that I wanted to live. And I just, you know, like when I turned 30, things changed for me. You know, like I had to make a decision on how I was going to live my life. Was I going to live my life drinking, smoking, partying, and, you know, just live my life for me for the rest of my life and then, you know, I'll never accomplish anything. But, you know, I have a desire. I want to have a family someday. I want to have children and I want to get married. You know, I have all these goals and things that I want to do with my life. And I know that if I could change my life as stubborn as I would, right, as I was before, I know I can help other people to change their life as well. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, and I also created the website, you can check out the, the website at GorillaNatureInc.com, um, where you can purchase the new t-shirt directly through there, it's Gorilla Nature, I-N-C, Inc, Incorporated, GorillaNatureInc.com, um, so it's G-O-R-I-L-L-A, Nature, N-A-T-U-R-E, Inc, I-N-C, dot com. Uh, and then, like I said, I just want to say thank you. Um, we appreciate all everybody's continued support. Uh, if you checked into our Instagram page, if you watch this YouTube video, if you all your donations, if you donate to our our to, to the GoFundMe, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, you know, I want to say God bless to all your families. You know, we're in some really difficult times. Uh, if you can, please go and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. You can follow our pages at Gorilla Nature Inc. Again, that's Gorilla Nature Inc. At Gorilla Nature Inc. You can find us on, on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Um, my name is Darius Dyer. And, you know, I want to hope you all have a, I want to say God bless to you and your families. Uh, I really appreciate you. Please go and support us. Please go donate. Please go purchase our shirt. Please go get the book. You know, God bless.